Before we begin today's episode, do yourself a favor. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this platform as well as hit the bell button to get notification for future episode releases. Oh yeah, and thank you to all seven of you. Hello, hi, and hey. My name is Reed Mason, and you're now in my house with our favorite intruder, Delight on Dex. So what we do over here is you bring your book, your journal, your magazine, your everything, and we discuss how you want, when you want. Not only is what happened to you the key question if you want to understand someone, it is the key question if you want to understand the brain. In other words, your personal history, the people and places in your life, influences your brain's development. The result is that each of our brain, brains are unique. Our life experiences shape the way key systems in our brain organize and function. So each of us sees and understands the world in a unique way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, you heard the lovely husky voice of, you are? Mona Makwakatavani. Wow, oh, I like that name. Hey, I'm never going to try it. <laughs> it's it's, it's going it's to smack me. <laughs> thank you for reading that piece. Uh, so... I have met you before, but today when you came, you're on some, oh, you sure we've met? You even introduced, gave the hand. <laughs> I've met you before. I was in a mall with uh, with our favorite intruder, Delight. We bumped into you, and it was some mm -hmm. time before your wedding. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah that's good. I think you, your voice didn't sound like this, though. Oh, that wow. time. So yeah, it changed. Yeah, I think it changed. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting something else. Maybe did something to it, huh? And, and that little five minutes that we spoke, Afterwards, mm -hmm. I'm like, no, she's so cool. And that, mm -hmm. that's when uh, Delight explained who and what you are to him. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, we met today and I think we had quite a lot of time talking <laughs> about all sorts of things. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you for that, uh, Mona. Um, you said, well, the book you were reading, or well, the piece you read from, what's the title of that? Um, the name of the book is What Happened to You mm -hmm. by Dr. Um, sorry, let me just the name of this guy yeah it's um bruce perry, bruce perry. and oprah winfrey oh wow so this book is um, part of the 100 books you should read at the moment oh nice yeah it's For... a psycho educational book okay mm. oh that's fantastic um so if you allow us to start from the beginning then who are you where are you from and what got you into reading <laughs> please <Okay. laughs> my name is mona um, yes. <laughs> I, like I was it. born in Joburg, bred in Pretoria. Yeah. Um, what got me into reading? Um, yeah. Oh, my dad is an avid reader. Serious? So, yeah, he reads and he's more of a sci fi type of person. And um, I must meet suspense, him. Um, what? Crime, suspense type Thriller of book? suspense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Um, so, I grew up being surrounded by a lot of books. Oh, and wow. I've always been that I said for girl, used to do poetry. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, no, I like that. And your mom reads as well? My mom does read. Uh, my mom doesn't read as much as my dad does, but mm -hmm. she does read. Mostly it's like either biographies yeah. or like self-help type of books. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, growing up with, with your dad reading, it's not the same way as... So, so I only learned to read later on and I realized it's something I could use to get girls. But <laughs> eventually... <laughs> <laughs> eventually reading is a lot of work hey? yeah, it's a lot of work when you're like oh, I don't need girls now yeah, <laughs> I'm reading like, oh, I'm busy this girl she's calling and yeah. I'm yo this book you know, you know it, it actually happens much more often than I thought it would mm. yeah does it ever happen to you when you read and, and people are trying to get a hold of you like, no, but I'm busy you know what if yeah. I'm reading a page turner it's either I'm gonna switch off my phone or I'm gonna put it on silent <laughs> so there aren't any disturbances oh. because I like block out an hour or two so yeah. I can read without any interruptions. Okay. If I don't do that, ah, uh, you're reading and someone calls, you're reading this, Ish. life gets in the way, you know? So yeah, I've learned to actually schedule time oh. in my schedule to actually oh, read. Oh no, please teach me. Oh, why not? Uh, because I've been trying. Really? I did the 10 minutes, the 20 minute thing. Uh, I must read a piece of that. It doesn't work. <laughs> and then I eventually started to do the unorthodox thing. Mm -hmm. Unorthodox now. Uh -huh. But back then, people used to keep uh, magazines in, in bathrooms. And oh, toilets. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So, oh. so I'm like, yeah, that's the only time when you had I'm, like I'm a, sure. a bathroom library. Yeah, so for sure. No one's going to disturb me. <laughs> I'm having my session. <laughs> <laughs> Until you get cramps. <laughs> <laughs> Finger cramps because of turning the page. <laughs> That's the cramps you're talking about. Too long, yeah? 
<laughs> but you know what? If it works, it works. Hey, my dad actually used to do that with his newspaper. <laughs> I think yeah, having toddlers is a lot. So my dad actually used to take the Sunday Times. I knew the Sunday Times was big. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> Go to the Lou Eye and flip through the Sunday Times. So yeah, sometimes you know, like it, like some people would like read in public transport. It works for them. Yes. Some people can read like would prefer reading when it's nice and quiet. Yes. It works for them. Yes. Some people prefer. Reading when they go to the spa or whatever, or in bed before they go to sleep at night. So, uh, do you, strokes, man. you don't squat, I'm guessing. You you lay down no, on no, the no, bed no, or no. you sit on a chair. I, I do what I need to do in the room. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Like, ow. laughs> I want to be laying somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want to lay and actually, you know, yeah, be in the right. Right. Yeah. So in the zone. Yeah, in the zone. Yeah. Proper position. Yeah. You know, don't want to be squatting. I need to be comfortable. Gosh, I'm gonna stop the quoting thing now. <laughs> I want to be so conscious about it. So I'm, okay, this is, this should be 20 reps now. <laughs> I did enough. You're like, yeah, leg game. Yeah. Leg game. <laughs> Someone told me I've got nice legs yesterday. Like, Makes me like, wonder uh, now. How do I do this? <laughs> so I was like, I woke up like this. <laughs> 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 no, no, she I'm talking about the, the, the thing in the bathroom library. The most I've ever done <laughs> in the loo is like read tweets or messages, <laughs> and that's it, you know. <laughs> I haven't oh, yeah, I read bad. a book or anything. Shame, <laughs> don't do that though. <laughs> don't, I'm gonna stop now. Uh, I'm gonna read. Uh, I can't do it lying down, I really can't because I, really? I pass out. I've, I've caught myself hitting myself with the book sometimes oh, you read okay, 10 yeah. minutes and you smack yourself you wake you up and and then you read that same line yeah over and over yeah and you're like, like yeah, I'm, I'm I read this man <laughs> yeah, so I, I purposely put myself in uncomfortable positions when I read oh, so I prefer doing okay. it in the city so how, what did you like what happened when you were in varsity when you had to study oh studying was studying I, I, oh, you know okay. the, the, oh, the game is okay. different yeah oh, okay. reading is leisure yeah, you know, a, yeah a lot of us don't do it not really I mean if you're an academic reading is not leisure <laughs> you get what I'm saying yeah so, yeah. Straight talk, straight yeah. Talk. No, th thank you for that good laugh actually you funny and pretty. Uh, <laughs> lucky <you>. guy. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell him. <laughs> yes, please do. I, I want to. Uh, so, uh, if you, you allow me to start with the, the other serious question, what's your favorite genre? I mean, what can keep Ooh. you up like that? Um, sure. You know what? I really don't have a favorite genre, right? Of not. But, okay. Hmm. Um, Non-fiction. Non-fiction? Sometimes. Okay. Then fiction, it depends on the author. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I'm not a sci-fi type of thing. Yeah. I know, shame. Please give me, like, things must seem like they're the truth, you know? Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't, like, seem too far-fetched, you know? Talk. No, I Harry Potter, not my cup of tea. Oh, you know? Um, that's fantasy, what's, though. What's, what's, yeah, but still, that's, like, sci-fi type of thing. That's, like, oh, fiction. True. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, no, that's not my cup of tea. Whatever I'm going to read, it has to... Like somehow portray a certain like something like reality, someone's reality oh, yeah. type of thing, you know. Even if it's fiction, but for me, it must appear as if it's something that might have happened to someone. Okay. Yeah, not something that yeah, there's werewolves. Say, hey, what's that uh, vampire? What that? Yeah. Oh gosh, no, the show I, was no, so guys. bad. Oh shame. I no, that is just not my portion in life. I'm sorry. I want to read something that's yeah. real. Yeah. Are you reading your favorite type of? Are you reading your favorite genre right now? At the moment, um, yes. I'm reading, uh, like uh, what, um, as part of the self help, yeah, yeah, type, uh, yeah. Type Tell of me book. a bit more of that self help thing or the the hundred that you're oh, following. How okay. did you come across that? Um, okay, so this uh, book that I'm reading at the moment is part of the top one hundred books yes. that yeah you should read at the moment that is like currently trending. Okay. So a friend of mine, um, told me about this book. I actually didn't even know about the book because um, I bought a few books uh, a few months ago and I haven't touched one of them because I've just been busy. So a friend of mine um, spoke to me about this book and asked if I'd read it. Then, yeah. Wow. That's how I got my hands on this book. And are you enjoying it? Is it a page turner? Is it a um, so far, um, the, the first, like I've read about like 30 pages of the book. It's still that introduction phase mm -hmm. um, using technical type of language, like yes. biological type of references and oh, whatever. Okay. So, so far, so good. Oh. Yeah, so far, so good. I mean, it's a self-help book. Yes. You know, we can all like 
we prove ourselves somehow. We Always. all need a bit of assistance somehow. Yes. Somehow, do you get what I'm saying? So so far so good. Oh, and and the one you read before this was it also self help? Does does it fall within the the, the genre you're into? Um, the one I read before this wasn't um self help. It was more of a um Christian based book. Okay. Yeah. At, at, uh, you can get you know I don't like the name of that that place that sell those books oh yeah because yeah, you walk past <laughs> it and you think yes, yes. Aye, aye, aye. and you know funny thing is I've never actually gone all out to go buy a Christian book oh, yeah. I was gifted okay that book Be- you know way, saying? Yeah. yeah I was gifted I don't want I'm not saying I'm anti reading like religious mm. books and whatnot no not not at all I'm I'm a Christian you know yeah. but I just I've never been that person to go out and buy you know a christian book no i wonder what does a christian book do different from what the bible is doing um it's not much to be honest hey really? because this is this christian book is still laced with a whole lot of bible verses so yeah. many references yes you know that are like b- biblical references you get what i'm saying yes so it's just that it's not the bible Oh. You know, they'll be using people's lives. You know, let's say it's about adversity. You know, obviously they'll throw in a scripture. You know, do not lean on your own understanding. I, uh, yes, uh, you get my favorite, saying? yeah. Then, you know, yeah, those kind of things, you know. So it's like a relatable story. Okay. shows you how to persevere yes. and how to lean on, you know, God's word and, 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 and type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I like that you always ask that at the end of what you say. <laughs> I, I do get what you're saying. <laughs> 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 I'm asking the question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get, I get what you say. No, a lot uh, of us have that. I, I, mm. we all go through that phase where we have this word that becomes very popular in our in yeah, our mouth. No, yeah. And for me, it was essentially. You know, you oh, talk wow. to us also essentially, and I caught myself doing that too often because now it takes away the essence of what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I do know what you're trying to say. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I get you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Uh, the, the, there's this one thing I watched on the internet with this um, philosophy lecture. Mm-hmm. I was talking about avid readers go get to a point where they've read so much of every kind of genre. Mm-hmm. And then when you get to a certain age, now what you want to read needs to find its way into changing how you perceive certain things, how you behave want to be a better person and such is is that the phase you are going through right now or is your 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 favorite choice of genre your favorite genre is that based on a point in your life do you like what you like now as it was 10 years ago yes oh snap actually yes i've always been that person to read a little bit of like books from different genres okay i've never like subscribed to only one genre that i'm yeah. only gonna read non-fiction yeah, yeah. Only biographies and 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 no i actually hate biographies to be honest i couldn't care less about what happened to mang mang's life when yeah. when i no shame i'm not saying that the stories are not you know like valid yeah. or moving or you know they shouldn't tell their stories no not at all you yeah. know um I just don't prefer reading those kind of like books. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm that type of person. Whatever I read must kind of shape me. Yes. It must change my perception. Yes. Somehow. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. It must change my outlook. Yes. I don't necessarily have to subscribe to whatever I'm reading. Oh, yes. But yes. it also will help me like change my outlook somehow. Yes, yes. You know, change the way I interact with people, change the way I will respond to certain things. And, 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 you know, um, uh, way back, like back when I was still like in high school, I would read self help books. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So I didn't start reading self help books now because a friend of mine referred this oh, book okay. that I'm reading now. You got yourself I used into it. to, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd read those kind of books then. Do you get what I'm saying? Wow. So um, yeah. So for me, it's a matter of what I feel like reading. You know, sometimes um, there's certain books that are trending. That's like, remember a few years ago, there was like Fifty Shades of Grey and it oh was a God. trending book. It was so bad. And everyone wanted to read that book. I you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I sh- I, you try you try some things out. I actually yes. got the, the, the trilogy that said, I read the first one. Why did you do that one. to yourself? I sh- no, I didn't get it. Let me be honest. I was gifted. I sh- oh, nice. You see these gifts, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I read, um, I think, I sh- uh, like half of the book, but most of the time I had to skip because yo, it's intense, eh? Yeah. Yo, it was so intense. But yeah. yeah. Like, so for me, whatever I feel like reading, I read. Yeah. And remember, um, you can read one book now at this like let's say this point of my life. I can read it five years later on. 
I'm not going to internalize it the same. Do you get what I'm saying? So the way we read at certain ages or set certain stages in our lives, like changes all the time. Yeah. You know, you could have, you could read a book five times, but it couldn't have like a different meaning every time you read it. Or you can take away, mm. you know, different lessons every time. No. So, yeah. I, I've, I was given a self-help book by this one lady I had a super crush on. Mm. And I read it wasn't that many pages, I think 150. Okay. Oh, and I read, I read it twice. Wow. Like, this is not going in. Because I thought, okay, I'm gonna impress her with mm. you know? and it, it it just didn't go in. And I don't think I'll read that book ever again. Yeah. Because okay. what was the name of the book? Do you remember? Your power of something. Oh, you, you, okay. They all named yeah, power yeah. of something. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it was some power. <laughs> it was also about, so, gosh, I didn't that like overpowered it. you. Yeah, it overpowered. <laughs> you know, it actually affected how I feel about the girl. I'm like, is this what she reads? Yeah. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm over it. I, and I just was done with her. So, oh, shame. No, poor girl. She's, she's <laughs> no, you know what? I actually get you. And if happy. I, yeah, if I was not married and I were to meet a guy that read like Harry Potter, <laughs> Ashim, game over. <laughs> Load shedding. <laughs> What? Should that affect? <laughs> no, re- really, because uh, what in the world are you doing? What is a grown ass man doing reading Harry Potter? Oh. No, I'm sorry, I'm really coming across as being judgmental, but hey, we I'm sorry, I'm gonna are. judge. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm gonna judge Harry Potter. Yeah. At this big age, no. If you're reading a bedtime it's story, yeah, content. by all means, right? Yeah. But at this point, I feel like, hey, we've got pressing issues, eh? Hey, yo, oh, the petrol bra- price is so high. <laughs> what the petrol you, you and Harry, Harry Potter? Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, we want our land. <laughs> you know, you're busy with Hermione Granger. <laughs> I'm not watching that movie ever again. <laughs> no, bra. And I like Harry be Potter serious. movies. <laughs> so bad. Please be serious. <laughs> I feel so nope. bad now. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather really, next thing you'd be reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Actually. Huh? Trying to shock us. Ah, bruh, no. Hey, you must do better. I'm Thanks. sorry. Hey, read Rich Dad, Poor Dad or something. That's that book. That's uh, a yeah. bad book. No, no, no. But like, what I'm trying to say is that I feel like um, there's certain genres. I mean, in certain genres, yeah. there's like um, young adult books. Yes. between Those are like between, let's say, between 12 and ha, ha, what, what age. Yeah. You know, then there's like the, um, I forgot, like the, 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 the kitty section. You know, there's those there, books with the um, dogs and whatever. Uh, Tom sits on the what? Do you get what I'm saying? Rick so and Rick, Jeff. Rick age age specific <laughs> yes. type of content. Yeah, you know, so you can have mature conversations with people. Actually, what what conversation are you gonna have with me when you're reading Harry Potter? I, sh- I feel bad now. Yeah, that you you gonna buy a broom? Are you gonna apply? <laughs> I don't I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm so Yo, next thing people are bashing me you read Harry Potter. Like, yeah, she's yeah, she's I'm, woke. I'm <laughs> on I'm on that with you though. Uh but I I gave myself a chance to read and delve into different genres before deciding that I'm sure I don't want this. Mm. Um so have you read a fantasy book just to be I'm, I'm curious. I have. I have. And you didn't I like have it? read Harry Potter before. Uh, really? Yeah, because it was a um prescribed book in high yes. school. So okay, okay. I didn't have a choice. I had to oh, what high to school pass, did you bro? go to? Uh, I went to Hillview High School. Did, yeah, we read it. Yeah, we read Harry Potter. Do... We all did Shakespeare. Yeah, no, we did. We did. That was okay. like um advanced, not like entry level high school. Oh, okay. That was like grade eight type of stuff, like yeah, um, yeah. Harry Potter. Yes. No, no, no. Matric, uh we read um Macbeth. We uh, read uh, Ways of Dying by Zaid Simda. Yes. Um, a... We read Maru by Bessie Head. Yeah, Bessie Head. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. see, yes. mm, levels, huh? Grade 8. <laughs> 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 Actually. Shakespeare. Yeah, you know, quite true. You're at that point of reasoning now. Do you get what I'm saying? 100%. Hey, who was wrong there in Shakespeare? Eh? Which Shakespeare? You know, eh? Eh? I, I sucked with Shakespeare eh? stuff. So, yeah, I know that's okay. So, yeah, hey, we, we did what we had to do to pass it. Eh? Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel somewhat uh, towards it because I watched the Denzel Washington movie mm-hmm. where he did Macbeth. Mm-hmm. And I finally understood Macbeth in school. I did mm-hmm. it. I don't blame you. I also did that in high school. Oh, okay. I, I, I re- we read the book. Yeah. Then uh, watched the movie. Yes. <laughs> read the book again. Yeah. Yeah. Watched the movie again. So I, yeah, Shakespeare, man. Do, would you still go back to that kind of genre? No, 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 no. I did it for school. <laughs> no, oh, okay. You won't find me in my <laughs> spare time reading Shakespeare. <laughs> no. I found a lady doing no, that. No, no, no. Good for her. 
I, I wanted to clap nope. her, but I'm not violent. Yeah, then again, um, talking about that, sorry, like to go back to now school, right. it's, um, there's this conversation about decolonizing the curriculum yeah. now that uh, they must now do away with Shakespeare and what was, oh, okay. and, you know, introduce like African authors. Yes. Those must be their prescribed books and, 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 yes. you know, so... Yeah, he, yeah. So I, I like that you touched that. You have to come back for another episode so we can touch on that subject. Oh, oh. It, it seems seems like fun. Which which um which book really got you stuck on the, the the genre that you're on right now? Specific book that you know this one for sure. Oh my word! Um, Zeke Smidal. He's a brilliant author. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he has a way with words. Yeah. Like, I've never read any of these books like that were not page turners. You see, this is what I was hoping He's a South reading author. does to me. Mm. Get me girls. Also, oh, God, Joe Reed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can't you, and it just never worked. Also, I'm never going to use these words. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I feel like reading is like education, right? Yeah. You go to school to better yourself, True. to, you know, advance in, in your life, in your career, whatever. Yes. You don't read for other people. It's it's a you thing. Yes. Right. So yeah, somehow yes. don't worry. Like somehow it actually works without you even noticing. Yeah. You know, yeah. you'll be telling this hot girl about this book that you read. Oh yeah, this and that happened in that book. You'll be referring to it without you even noticing. Oh. So oh, it's yeah, yeah it's not the, those like overt things that where you can be on some. Yeah, you see that book. Wah, yeah. wah, 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 you know. No, yeah. sometimes that happens without you like without you even noticing. Zakes da. Yeah. Did he, is he not the one that moved to America? Yeah, he's a lecturer. Yeah, yes, I think it's in uh, Ohio, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this. Yes, yeah, this, this one I book. I love that, it. man. It's called Rachel's Blue. Oh, yes. Yeah. When I was done with the book, I'm like, you can't be serious. This was written by a black South uh-huh, African. Uh-huh. You know, he's a brilliant writer. Extremely. He is, extremely. He is. And another thing, uh, with um, talking about brilliant writers, I, um, I don't know if you, I think you should, well, Cooley Roberts. Cooley Roberts. Cooley Roberts, the late Cooley Roberts, who passed away, I think, a few months ago. Not so long ago, yeah. Yeah, she, about it. she used to um, have a column on, um, I think it was the Sunday World. Mm-hmm. Her name of the, uh, the name of, sorry, the name of the column was Bitches Brew. Oh, yeah. I used to love reading those articles. How come? Every Sunday, I would look forward to Serious? reading. You know, yeah. like, that column used to be that thing for me. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And for me, it started with, I don't know, my love for black authors. Okay. You know, but I don't, you know, um, I don't necessarily read, you know, literature written mm. by black people. You know, oh, I nice. don't, you know, like, I'm not gonna um, put myself at a disadvantage of being exposed to other, you know, authors as well. But, yeah, Zeke Simdao, Fred Kumalo, Nick Mthongo, um, else uh we want the names yeah no names. i'm trying yeah. to like yeah but those yeah. like from the top of my head are yeah my favorite authors in south africa i like that you you answered that question in such a way because that's my next question oh, uh yeah. your, your favorite author and what title book really did you like about the the, the books you read mm-hmm. uh, so you gave three names now you gave yeah. zakes and the other two which books of those authors stood out Fred for you Kumalo, Bitches Brew. Why? Um, oh, my word. Begin. <laughs> oh, my word. Sure. But no, I read this book like yeah. a long ago. Again, like I said about... Um, um, uh, what's this man again? Um, again, like I said about... Um, Zex. Yeah, Zex Mdao. Yeah. Um, Fred Kumalo. Also, yes. he's also a journalist. Um, okay. Has a column, I think, now in the Sunday Times, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He also has a way with words. He's a yes. brilliant, like, brilliant writer. Okay. So for me, it's like the way and and how a person pins and strings words together. Yeah, you know how they tell a story. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, we we've all been to a township. We've all seen like the setup of a, how a township operates. Mm. But when you read it, and like, and someone is telling a story in a different like perspective or something you've never been exposed to, mm. you can like literally feel like you're there. You're Straight part talk. of the mix. You Straight know, talk. you're part of that Shabin when this and that was. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You 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 feel you feel it, man. Yeah. And I mean, I think um the the beauty of reading is that. Yo, it, it it takes you. You you like you literally get to travel without leaving a house. Yeah. Type of thing. You know? Yes. You get to travel without having a passport. Yes. Type of thing, you know? Yes, yes, so yes. that's the, the the beauty of these authors. You know, they get to, you know, like they they they, they work as an escape, as a, a mechanism to travel, as 
you get what I'm saying? Yes. So like, yeah, it's, it's, that's what I love about those authors. Earlier on that you don't know you're referring to the book, but now we all know something about Ohio because one of your favorite okay, authors yeah. is there. Mm-hmm. So, so it does work that you way. You see, yeah. yes, 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 oh, yes. But you didn't answer my question um, though. Zeke Simdao, what's his favorite, what's your favorite book from Oh, Zeke Simdao, yeah. um, uh, the first well, book I was exposed to, yeah. obviously it's Ways of Dying. Ways of it Dying. It was, oh my word, a yeah. beautiful, beautiful book, you yeah. know. Um, how he describes like just a normal funeral setup, how we know funerals as yo like oh my word like it takes you like yeah like yeah no man like it's, I, do, I know i know the feeling you have like, right now I, I don't even know, like, it's I, so good i don't even know how to put it in I words, words like, you get what I'm saying? but my words um, are damn yeah they, it's just like there, but, gosh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um sure um uh, so uh, one of the main characters in that book yeah. is Tologi. he's a professional mourner We've all been to funerals. We've all seen that uncle or that aunt that cries, you know, you're way more than other people. <laughs> or that does the extras, you know. Mm. But we've never termed them as professional mourners, for instance. Ah. But they're there. They exist. Yeah. You know? So now wow. this guy is now telling us about this guy and this. But there's just a whole lot of yeah. things happening in the book. But like the one, my favorite book by Zayt Smidow is definitely Ways of Dying. Ways of then Dying. Black Diamond. Yes. Then um, I'm thinking it's uh, that, like Little Sons. This is, I think it's Little Sons. I forgot the name of the title of the book. Uh-huh. Yeah. By Zayt as well. Yeah, Zayt as well. Okay. Um, Tell me about that one, Little Son. That I haven't read. You haven't read? Yeah, no, that I haven't read. Uh-huh. I've got, remember I told you that yes, I've yes, got a few books yes. that I haven't read, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, I'm going to get to it. For sure. And you yeah. mentioned some someone, Kumalo? Uh, Fred Kumalo, Fred which Kumalo. is Brew, yeah. Yes. Then Nick Mthongo. Yeah. Nick Mthongo, um, uh, I forgot now the name of the book. The, the, the book, I, I remember the cover, like, it's, um, you know, um, remember those cans, those Lucky Star cans, the pilchard fish? Yes. Yeah, that's the rapper, like, that's the cover of the book, not the rapper, the cover yeah. of the book. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you the name now. Um, uh, I forgot the name of the book, but yeah, if you Google Nick Mthongo and you're looking for his, like, books, yeah. you'll see the cover of the book is that Lucky Star yes. type of cover. That's the cover of the book. Yeah. What's that book about? Um, it's about um, oh hey, kids. Now kids will put you through a lot. Uh, your parents take you to varsity. You. you get to varsity. You decide to do your own things yeah. in varsity, and you give your parents uh, the perception that you're still in varsity. That time you're not you're busy doing your own things. Uh, come the time when you're supposed to be graduation. Mm. <laughs> Only then your parents are finding out that yeah, this guy wasted three years. Of yeah. our hard earned money. Oh no. Of our time. I've met a guy of his like time. That before, yeah. yeah. So you see it happens. Yeah, that's why I'm trying like that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to like I don't um I read things that seem like they like that are real. Okay. That are relatable. Yes, yes. Do you get yes. what I'm saying? We all know oh uh, yeah. The the name of the book is After Tears by Nick Yes, after yes, tears. yes. After Tears. I, I like I like yes. the name of that because uh-huh. it's not After Tears. It's After. <laughs> after, tears. <laughs> after Tears. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It's like you know, like then After Tears. You know, yeah. also has that. You know, um, normally um after like a person's funeral, the like it's a meet and greet type of situation. Yes, yes, yes. People go chill and have drinks type of thing. You know, it's After Tears after like something bad has happened. Yes. You know, after some like a death or something. Yes. So it's kind of like that play on words, like it's. You know, it's the after tears. Yeah. You know, the kiddish. It has of that. You know, yeah. that dream they had for their child. Those yes. aspirations died. Yeah. Now oh, they're wow. dealing with the aftermath of like, oh, wow. you know, th- this child's oh, um, oh, decisions, the consequences, yeah, and, yeah. and and and. Yeah. I, after tears, you know that sometimes when I go to these funerals. Um, not that I like going to them. I don't look for them. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, we don't look for people to die. Hey? Don't look for people they just to die. dead. <laughs> I just, and I, I, I think I went. There was a time I went to about four every every Saturday. There was a funeral during COVID or pre COVID. Uh, pre COVID. Oh, okay. And I felt so bad because, like, I always met women there. Mm. Like, are you crying I've got a shoulder oh, you sure? uh-huh. you know? yeah. that guy yeah. <laughs> take advantage <laughs> get them all you were crying so get them so all the bad. week <laughs> and then when, when someone explained what after tears mm-hmm. actually is is really f- the, the mourning period and yeah. mm-hmm. I just had to uh, zip up uh, okay no, go, go through this and mm. I like that when you say this that they give us a different way of looking at after tears because mm. can you imagine having to spend 
his university is not two rand. Yo, or, it's, or not 1, rand. It, it's not. rand. It's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah. So mm. I can imagine the after tears is bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in the setup, this is this this is not like a child that's from like an affluent family. This is like a child that's from a background that's not too great. Do you get what I'm saying? Hence the so the cover. sacrifices that you know the parents had to make. You yeah. know, next thing a child is doing their own thing, guys. I would lose my. Can you imagine, bro? No, gas got so bad. So yeah, but hey, yeah, no, hey, kids will put you through a lot. Hey, they'll humble you, hey, bro. Hey, don't have kids, eh? Okay. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um uh, so so the next question would then be um so so you an avid reader as well. Can I assume that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been reading? Do you know sure. at what age it was that you started reading? Since primary school. Primary school. You know yeah. I, I hated so, girls that read in primary school because they made me look so bad. Really? So I only started reading at you the end what? of high school. I think um we were fortunate in the sense that we went to schools that actually you know, um, encouraged reading. Yes. Uh, when I was still in primary school, um, I started in um, at a Yona convent. Mm-hmm. In the morning, the nuns would call us mm. and would read. They'd give us a book, would read, mm. would practice reading out loud. Wow. Type of thing. Do you get what I'm saying? This was, was an everyday that. thing. Yes. You know, so like reading is like type of something that's ingrained in me. It's not something that I just decided one day that, ah, listen, this is something that's happening now. Let me nah. no shame. We've uh, been reading. It's been drilled. Yeah, I keep on saying we because um, my sister and I like uh, um, Irish twins, you know, so hey, sh- we were always together type yeah. of thing. This, yeah, that's for us. That's how it started. Okay. Mm. From primary, primary school. Primary school, yeah. From primary school. Yeah, from and primary then, school. And yeah. still now you read yeah. at 18 years old. Yeah. We can't tell your real age. We're not ish, allowed to. Ish. So, I mean, from your experience of, of I, I would assume you, you read a lot, not uh-huh. just being an avid reader. Mm-hmm. Uh, has there been a movie that has done whatever book you read and liked? Has a movie done a book you read justice? Because is sometimes no. books are just, no. books are much better and you, you're in you inside the book and then when they make a movie like no you guys got it wrong stop yeah. that stop that no Th- they haven't no I, nothing has no. come close nope and oh no shame let's let's give Macbeth a credit <laughs> D- did you watch the Denzel Washington one <laughs> no I didn't oh, okay. no I'm saying I think Macbeth you enjoyed because it. you know I think like in high school Macbeth molested me you know yeah, so reading the movie <laughs> was just like <laughs> such a breath of fresh air because I'm like oh, oh, these oh are little, ha, ha, whatever. yeah you were not yeah. you get what I'm saying you, yeah, watch, yeah. you actually watch something you're like okay this is actually not bad yeah you get what I'm saying so yeah I know I think that's where they did justice and I think because again Macbeth is a play you know, yes. for a play, there's, there's yes. a difference between reading like a, let's say a novel and yes. like a play. Do you get what I'm yes, saying? Very true. A, a play is something that's like kind of like scripted. Yes. So acting it out is really rather like simple. Do you get mm. what I'm saying? Versus a novel. There's certain scenes that they have to cut out in the book yes. to now make this thing now a two, two, two hours, hour yeah. production type of yes. thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So, so a lot of no, movies mess no. it up. No, for me, no. Has there been a movie that has changed your opinion about another genre? I don't like fantasy books. I read uh, something witches. I got to the first chap- through the first chapter and I was like, I'm never going to do this again. But I mean, Harry Potter make nice movies because the color is there and all of it. It just didn't take me back to reading. Um, you remember I said when we started, I said I don't like, I'm, I'm not one to read sci-fi, sci-fi right? Yeah. But I don't mind watching some sci-fi movies. Oh, okay. Do you get what I'm saying? I think yeah. uh, the Da Vinci Code, I watch the movie, but yeah. I'm, I won't read the book. Don't read uh, his book. No, I hope no, no one takes no, this serious. Like, but no, don't I, read I won't read like, the Da Vinci Code. Yeah. Sorry, no. I, I did the movie. That yeah. was, yeah, really, it wasn't bad. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I won't read the book. Um, There's a book, um, this movie, um, uh, it's a sci fi movie as well. Um, Aliens. No, no, Aliens no. vs. Predators. Uh, I'm forgot, just going to go through I the forgot the name. List. No, 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 but it's. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember, but anyway, yeah. um, another movie that I think was Flash Forward or something. Yes. That's a sci-fi movie. Yes. I don't know if there's a book or not, but I wouldn't bother reading the book. Oh, okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. Something sci-fi, I can tolerate it when I'm like visually consuming it. Yeah, it's meant for that. Not, yes. Uh, like, yeah, no, no, like uh, we can be visual reading as well, but I'm just yes. saying when I'm sitting and watching, yes. not <laughs> flipping through a book, no shame. That's not, not at my all. portion. <laughs> no. So nothing nope. has taken you from a movie or series to a book? Nope. Never? No. Nope. Even uh, what about someone you've heard on a podcast or someone you've heard on, on radio? Because a lot of the journalists actually talk on radio. 
No, yes. Not, uh, they talk on radio. That's good. That's fine. Yeah. Um, it's like, I think, like, I don't listen to pod, like, not podcasts, what's ebooks. Oh, okay. What do you call it? Yeah, it's ebooks, no? Oh, is it called ebooks? No, um, no, not ebooks. Audiobooks. Audio audiobooks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Audiobooks. Yeah. I don't listen to audiobooks. Yeah. If I'm reading, I'm reading. If I'm listening okay. to a podcast, I'm listening to a podcast. Do you get what I'm okay. saying? If I'm listening to a TED talk, I'm listening to it. If I'm watching a TED talk, I'm watching. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. So for me, if I'm reading a book, I'm really holding the book. And I can't even read ebooks. I'm not one to scroll down and, oh gosh, that and hurts strain me. my eyes. No. Yeah. I want to touch the book. Yes. I want to go flip through the pages. Oh my God. We're I want to make place. I want to fold those pages Bruh. in the corner. You yeah. know, put that marker, sometimes highlight. Yeah. You know, sometimes that coffee you know, mug. Yeah, that coffee <laughs> mug stain. <Yeah. laughs> you know, I want to highlight and yes. do you get what I'm saying? Put a sticky note there. Find that word that's like, oh, I've never come across this word. Mm, yeah. Google, mm, dictionary. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know? It makes serious. It makes good for, for intimacy. Yeah, no, it does. Book. It does. Especially if you're going to read it. Like, that book was so well written. I felt like the perpetrator oh, in the book. Me. Yeah, because a lot of the time, a lot of us don't like to, we like to take ourselves out of a situation. Mm -hmm. You see something on the news, oh, this lady got shot. You feel bad for her. Like, yeah, but yeah. The, girl, the guy that did the shooting, do you try to do that? So mm. I think Zakes did such a good job as if he, all men are like this. Mm. And you were forced to be the perpetrator. Mm. I feel bad for Rachel. But you know what? I'm out Ace. of here. Yeah. Mm. So it, it, it made good for people are going through something even yeah. when you're not there. Yep. So that's what I liked about the, the, mm. the, the reading. But I don't think Zakes and Daz books wouldn't make good movies. Because you have to know. There's one I can't remember which book they said uh -huh. they're gonna turn it uh, to a no, movie. Uh -huh. I can't remember which book. Um, I saw some conversation he had with someone on Twitter, and it was, yeah. yeah. So there's a the like some book that wanted to turn into a movie, but he wasn't asked for permission. Ha ha ha. Whatever, whatever. Oh, so yeah. yeah, I don't know, but I don't know. I also wouldn't mind watching it. For the sake, yeah. Of, do you get what I'm saying? For the sake of, yeah. you know, um, I bought that. Um, what's uh, Slow Move the Wife, the book, right? Mm -hmm. Now there's a series, The Wife. That was an Is adaptation. It based on that? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yes. Did you so, read the book? No, I haven't read the book. It's part of the books that I bought that I haven't okay. read. Yeah. Okay. But you finished so, okay. the wife. Okay. So I, sh I keep on referring to the, these books that I it's bought fine. that I didn't. Okay. So um, <laughs> it's right. there's this. Um, I came across this page on Twitter. The name yeah. of the page was the the book stock fell. Right. So I saw it and they have this thing. Um, you contribute a certain amount of money every month. Then uh, when it's your turn for that month, you get um, X amount of books. It depends on your contribution type of thing. Yes, for so sure. that's how I have now this. Yeah. This big box of books that yeah. I haven't read type of thing. That's okay. how I got, got the books from a book stock file type of thing. Okay. So every, t every month um, they'd um, list, let's say the 10 most read or yes favorite books of the people in the group type of thing then yeah so you can get some like um inspiration as to what to read yes. from what other people are reading as well it helps that in those 10 books there's different genres yeah is that yeah what, what no, you, but you you get to choose when it's your turn yes. right when what now like um this month okay yes. the following month if it's your turn yeah. right um you now say listen i want this book i want that you could be a recipe book it could nice. be a biography it yes. could be the bible yes it could be like whatever do you get what i'm Who saying a music a book no but i'm just saying yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying it could be whatever yeah yeah but you know obviously it's it's calculated for like x amount of money that you've got yeah that's the budget that you have oh, for gosh. the books that you want this was perfect yeah. for the end of the the talk We'll, we'll we'll go back to that oh, uh, okay, that you said right. the stock fell. Oh no, I'm not I'm yeah. not um advertising yeah, no, or whatever, right. but I'm just saying because <laughs> yeah, that's how I keep on referring books. to the those books that I haven't read. You know, yeah. so it's like how but <laughs> what books is she reading? Did you have a, yeah, but do you prepare yeah, you yourself can... before reading the books? You, you know just, what? Yeah. If there's one thing I don't I don't like wasting my time. Uh -huh. So I actually go through the book first and see ish, am I in the mood, in the oh, right no. space, you know, yeah. state of mind to be reading this, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I actually do prepare myself. I don't want to lie. I try not to prepare myself. Really? Yeah, let's get no. disappointed in jury. Really? No, I do the same with movies and series. I cannot waste two hours of my life yes, watching a dead end thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, please. Nah. <laughs> no. I've got, yo, no, please, no. I actually do like do the research. I, I Google it, yeah. read a review, yeah. see what other people are saying. Then, yeah. Are you in a book club? No. Why? I, Shem, I couldn't be bothered, hey? Wow. I feel like no, not no, really not in a bad way. I really couldn't be bothered because I feel like we interpret things differently, right? Okay. And um, reading is subjective. 
Yes. How, like I said, remember, like you could read the same book, mm. you know, five times in different stages of your life. 100%. You get what I'm saying? So now I must gather with other people and we must be on some, yeah, we're now, you know, Rachel, <laughs> ha ha ha. No, but the old king, my man was abusive, ha ha ha. Yeah. Okay, good. Does not make good for having the conversation. No, lovely uh, shame. That's not. That's yeah. not me. Okay. I don't want to lie. That's not me. Okay. No, and I, I find it very enough, nice yeah. when people are gathered and they have these book clubs yeah. and people are reading the same book. It's nice. Yes. I've tried it. Yeah. Really, I've tried it. Not necessarily a book club reading yeah. the same book with a friend or something. Yes. Yeah, it also did me dirty because no. at the end he spoke more than I did. I was like, no, if I talk now, it's going to be worse because I didn't like the book. And mm. I'm going to say it again. And I'm going to say it in other episodes if it comes up. The Alchemist is not good. <gasps> oh, Batum. Oh, Paolo. <laughs> I love that man. No. That's nice, uh, very handsome man. But No, yeah, very yeah, handsome the, man. No, I, you bad. know what? Shame, why don't you like that book? No, there's so many reasons. I wrote a full paragraph to the lady that said, read this, you're going to like it. I just went in, in for two weeks. She didn't talk to me after that. I'm like, yeah, but I, I give you the space. I even came to your place to talk yeah. about this book. It's like, yeah, why did you talk then? I'm like, you yeah, see, I'll, I'll send it to going you. Going back to so, my point, yeah. reading is very subjective. Very subjective what yeah. I find moving yeah. and breathtaking, you're not necessarily going to find it breathtaking. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because remember, we were socialized differently. We grew up differently. 100%. Do you get what I'm saying? So what for me would have touched me, you know? Straight talk. It's not something that's going to necessarily do the same for you. Yeah. You know? So now okay. imagine we're in a yeah. book club and you're like, oh, it was nonsense. Yeah, whatever. And I'm like, oh, this guy, oh, shame. Or well, you don't understand anything. Well, <laughs> now, let me tell you. Ha, ha, ha. Do you get what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I, I feel Or maybe it's because I'm not one to, I, I don't like yeah. debating unnecessarily. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's okay. If you thought it was crap, yeah. lovely shame. Did you like The Alchemist? I did. I did. Why? Oh, I loved it. Um... It's one of those inspirational type of books, yes. you know. Um, oh, you um, um, I don't know if you've read or watched The Life of Pi. Yes, I have. More the lines of that. Mm. Very inspirational books, mm. you know. Very like those books that, yo, you know, like kind of hey, pick you up when you yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. there's no hope, there's no. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like I loved it. it I love all his bad, way of writing. Yeah. And yeah, yeah Paulo is a very wise guy. So very, very. Really, all his books, Ash, um, you never, you can never go wrong with a Paulo Coelho book. No, I, I, I don't hate the book. I just didn't get the hype. You know you what? Know? I yeah. get you, Nem. Yeah. I read the the Capitalist Nigger. Gosh. I hated the book. Me too. I you <laughs> I hated the book because I felt like that guy rented for a whole I don't know how many pages. Basically. Really. <laughs> Honestly, you should have wrote, written one paragraph. One paragraph and, and we get it. Yeah. You would have gotten it. Yeah. The whole book that guy was complaining. Yeah. And I was like, what did I just read? Bruh. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So honestly, I get you. And you know, in as much as like this, um, how like bookstores, exclusive books, mm. uh, bo what bargain books bargain and whatever, books, yeah. um, they'll they'll Smart have books. the top hundred, top ten, whatever. Yes. I, doesn't necessarily mean that their number one is your number one. Yes. Do you get what I'm Very saying? True. It's just a way Very of true. grading, the way of structuring books yes. and, you know, the whole, yeah, how it works in bookstores. Okay. But, hey, no shame. At some point, um, a capitalist nigga was doing well, but for me, in my books, I was shame. I, I felt like I wasted my money. I wasted my time. Bruh. I was upset Bruh, because I felt squats. like that guy is just, yo, no shame. Yeah. yeah. No. He was complaining a bit too yeah, much. Yeah, no, he he went on, not a bit too, like, not a bit. It was not a bit, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah it was It was a lot. Over the top. Yeah, no, he was shame. Like, mm -hmm. we're not all that angry, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's actual solutions. Thank you. Yeah, so, I, yeah, when I make those friends, like, right, let's yeah. support you. <laughs> yes. Let's not complain about it. Yeah, yeah when exactly. Yeah, people ah, yo, <laughs> guys, please. And, and stuff, it's, it's not like we didn't know that. We, we can see what's happening. We can. Yeah. We're not blind. And we are still consumers. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, ah, guys, no, no, okay, it's okay. Be angry in your corner. No, like, I, I was done. I've actually finished the book, surprisingly, because I, I thought maybe it will end on a lighter note. Do you get know what I'm saying? No. Ah, Shem. No. I, I, yeah. I got halfway. It was one of those books I found very difficult because I can brush through a book in a week or I can brush through a over it on a weekend mm. you know but that one took me three months to get halfway mm. and like you know 
could be getting laid now. I don't need this. <laughs> I really don't need. You're like, yeah, no I'm not negativity. That yeah, be, because he I'll makes. I'll go it... buy my Nike sweater. So, so, straight. I like my All Stars mm, and my Nikes. Yeah, that's okay. You know, and, and, this guy must leave us alone. Yeah, it makes you want to hate black people now. Yeah, so it's yes. not like that. So yeah. you, you could have done a better job, but yeah. It, it, <laughs> We should have made this like a bashing session about that book. <laughs> it's bad. No uh, shame. No, no, no. Like some people loved it and yeah. they resonated and and and. Yeah. So for me, yeah, no, I read the book. Yeah, no, it was just a whole lot of complaining. Really, I really didn't enjoy the book. I read the book nonetheless. Yes. I wouldn't read any of that guy's books ever again. Type of thing. He's not because, an economist. But because himself. my thing, I'm thinking now with like because I've read the Capitalist Nigger, yeah. I'm gonna go in with that same perception that ah. This guy likes complaining. He's probably going to complain again. Bruh. You know, like, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. How did these publishers allow him to complain for 200 pages? Dude. Type of thing. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So they're going to allow him again to complain. Oh, why are you, bruh? We've got enough negativity. Bruh. We've got enough life stresses. So I'm sorry. Petrol. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. <laughs> Meeting of state resources. Bruh. Now we're going to be reading about a guy that's complaining about bruh. us consuming things we want to consume with our hard earned money. Bruh. And things no, we like. No, let us be Popeyes. Then it's okay, bruh. Nah. No, have your opinion there in your corner no leave us yeah it alone. felt like an opinion piece yeah, yeah like i mean if someone sends me my thousand rand i booked this thousand rand for those nike sneakers thank you no i get there and i hold it How? funny on some oh uh, uh, now you must be buying a uh, bad two when you don't want to buy bad two it's not my style no bro <laughs> <laughs> like, you must be on some drip tip and you're like i don't like it <laughs> No, guys, <laughs> leave us. <laughs> you I know? think a lot of people no. read that stuff and then come uh, to us with it. Uh, are some, are you yeah. happy that you spent mm, on those you don't all support. stars? <laughs> you don't, and you're like, ah, guys, no, please leave me. No, guys. Nah. No, I'm sorry. No one is going to tell me anything about how to spend my money. I'm going to spend it how I want to spend it. Really, if I like drips, I like them because I like them. Yes. Not necessarily it's because I'm supporting a South African brand. Yes. Now they're pushing proudly South African. No, man, please don't. No. Nah. No. I think he, he took for granted that would be looking at it from a different point. He mm. thinks a lot of us are struggling. He has that situation that we have with some of our colleagues at work with the different yeah. and and they, they want to emphasize that, oh well, I didn't grow up with money. Mm. Like, yeah, that's your problem. Yeah, like I grew up with money, so I don't know why you have to tell me this. <laughs> no, then again, it's like that you know, you you must have you must show empathy, you yeah. must be very ah guys. No, I, I get I that, don't get, get me wrong, yeah. right? But let's not control each other when it yes. comes to our money that we work hard for so the resources hey guys we 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 yo no man no? I, yeah no i'm okay with that guy shame i've got nothing against him i just didn't enjoy the ranting shame yeah mm. it, it, it was a ranting session yeah we no. should have one for him mm. get him on where is he from he's american right uh, i think he's a nigerian guy nigerian yeah. oh yes yes yes, mm. yes. I forgot his name. What is it again? What, what, Onika, Od- something, yeah. I I won't try to remember now. Yeah, but yeah, Onika, so, oh, Onika oh. something, yeah. We're going uh, through serious yeah. problems, guys. Hey, guys, yo, it's, no. Especially it's... when you have a new child. On some, you know oh, what? I don't guys. need you, Onika. Yo, yeah. no, man, yo. Quite true. No, I must be reading baby sin stuff now, you know? Ish. Yeah, at this, t- at this month, yeah, this milestone, master, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't true. be stressing about people telling me about Amazon buy, yeah. What what black people are, huh? we consumers, not producers. Ah, it's okay, bruh. We're still living, we're still breathing, we're all gonna die. We're still being the same. Anyway, age. yeah. Yeah. Very true. We are mm. all gonna die. He, mm. he he really didn't think about us there. No shame. Uh, if I can go back to the genres thing. Mm-hmm. D- do you think that reading different genres is good for a person? That they mm-hmm. shouldn't be stuck on just one, yeah. one genre. Why do you yeah. say, why do you say that? Um, like it's always good to broaden your horizon, you know, yeah. and not be a one track minded person. Mm-hmm. You know, a little bit of everything. Yeah. You know. Yes. But, but what do they say? Variety of the spice of life. Jesus, you know. Where are you eating, so... bro? <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> you know, what? so a little bit of self help. Yeah. A little bit of sci fi. Yeah. Of fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. Of romance. Of a little drama there. Yeah. You know. It's, you know, I went it's, through a, a, a romance book because it was a challenge me and my my one brother made. Mm-hmm. We'd read genres that we usually don't read, mm-hmm. and he gave me a romance book. Uh-huh. Every page, I was pulling a piece of my beard off. 
So I don't need, she doesn't need saving. Leave her alone. <laughs> don't save her. See, she does not see, want to be saved. And that's saved. what we do as readers. Yeah. You know, you read it and you're like, yo, Mara, this guy, you know, <laughs> like, what is he doing? Yes. You get what I'm saying? That's the beauty of reading. Yes. You know, it also like brings you alive. You also want to now participate in all of this madness yes. that's happening in this book. Yes. You know? So, yeah. Like, I mean, if you're not necessarily like a romantic guy, yeah. you can get a few pointers from what Mr. Grey was doing in Fifty yes. Shades of Grey. You know? Sweet Mr. Grey used to do this and, you know, you get what I'm saying? You can get pointers. Yeah. Not necessarily like other things. Obviously, you take what you need and yes. you, you move on with your life. You know? Sci-fi, the same. Biographies, the same, hey, yeah. not the same. Some people really want to know yes. what happened to Nelson Mandela. Hey, long walk to freedom. Isn't Mandela is yeah. uh, putting uh, all our holes on our face, in our like, ears, our nose, yeah. our mouth. Like, people uh, are invested. Uh, people want to know those stories. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There are those people that are really, really invested in other people's stories. They want to know. She, I'm not that type of person, hey? Yeah. I really couldn't care less. I'm not saying, this, I'm not trivializing the, the life experiences sure. and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not interested. My mom tried to force us into autobiographies. I've read two Desmond Tutus, two Ob- Obamas. Everything was Mandela. Mm. I was just too much. And it felt, I think she put me off of reading for a very oh, good yeah. time of my life because I thought this is what reading is. Yes. You need to be forced to do it and it has to be this because you'll get judged from what you read. Yeah. It's only That's why I didn't read so much in, in primary school, even high school. I only read towards the end. But at the end, it was one of those random things. And I said, I'm just going to take whatever book. Mm. And luckily, it didn't have a cover. It was one of those hard, hard cover books. But it's just one color. And I just took it. I didn't care about the name. And, and I think from there on, I figured this is the way to do it. And mm. then give yourself spices of variety of life. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> variety is a spice of life. Jeez, where did you get that quote from? I need to learn it. I, I, I like that quote. My next tattoo. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> where did you get that quote? I really don't recall. You see, reading again. Actually. I really do not recall. Yeah. But you see. <laughs> will, will you give yourself a chance on another well, sci-fi? Nope. You're really not sold on it. Nope. I don't even go to that section. Really? Yeah. I really don't go into that. Like, if I walk into exclusive books, yeah. Shem, I don't even look sci-fi direction. I don't want to lie. Uh-huh. I don't want to lie. So then, I mean, the, the big question, the big final question would be, um, what is your least favorite? So not that, because you don't read sci-fi and there's the stuff you do read. If you were to categorize the stuff you do read, which is your least favorite? Fantasy. Oh. I want yeah. whimsical tapa white. No, man. Yeah. I'm a reality girl. Let's give okay. me the truth. You know? Yeah. Even if it's fiction, yes. but it must be the truth. Something oh, okay. relatable. Something I can now, you know, like argue within my head. Oh, but no, this doesn't. What was she thinking? Ah, this girl. She put us up. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, fine. What am I going to be arguing with there? Because of this, Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because dragons don't exist, first of all. Why are they flying? You you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you, you get what I'm saying? So yeah. shame. No, fantasy, no. Not at all. No. And you don't like sci-fi because you read one and stopped? Or no, no, no. it just never attracted you at all? No. <laughs> no ways. S- s- sci-fi for me, like I said, I, I really, really don't mind watching a sci-fi movie. Yeah. And it's few sci-fi movies I've watched, right? Yeah. Reading it, on the other hand, you I know, hey. It needs a different level of I think it's one of those, like, you know, um, what you were saying about the, I can't remember when you spoke earlier, when you said uh, there's a book that you read and you kept on reading it over and over again. Yeah, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. For me, sci-fi is like that. I don't know. Maybe I find it okay. very difficult to, like, consume it. Yes. I don't know. I just, I don't know. The, the or maybe it intimidates me. Shame, yeah. She, maybe she I've got, maybe it, it, like, let me, yeah. Maybe it, it intimidates me. I don't Can know. Can I lend you one? Okay. It's got too many pages, though. Okay, what's the name of the book? The, the, it's called Hail Mary. Hail Mary? Yeah, okay. Hail Mary, yes. Project okay. Hail Mary. Oh, okay. um, recommended to... by uh, Bill Gates. Okay, all yeah, right. Yeah, he's... Let's do this, Bill. <laughs> I, I was curious. I, I think I got it because I wanted to get into Bill Gates' head. 
Oh, but okay. you go through the book and realize, oh, maybe it's my head that I wanted to get into. Mm. It, it's quite nice. It's just very long. You oh, could have okay. shortened it. But I think you'll like it. The biggest problem with sci-fi, not that I don't like sci-fi. I do mm. like sci-fi. It's not my favorite. The biggest problem with sci-fi is the words. You know, you get so used to what you know. I know yes. wardrobe. I know chair. But now in sci-fi, there's always going to be new words. That yeah, those low frequency words that yes. you know, don't necessarily use in everyday conversation. Exactly. And that's my thing, right? Um, I think, um, I think I don't know. Like, I think again, the study part. Like, okay, so I studied linguistics, right? Oh, I'm in so, trouble now. Um, Have I been making mistakes <laughs> while we're talking? <laughs> no, so I, I studied linguistics, right? And um, a part of um, making your your reading your reading accessible to everyone yes. is putting it in plain language, right? Okay. So, yes. with with that said, remember everything has got its like target market yes so obviously sci-fi has its own jargon that they use yes and i think maybe that's why i find it so intimidating oh. i don't want to read a book and constantly be having to google 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 Do you get yes, what I'm saying? Becomes, i want to read yes. it must be like one or two words here and there yeah. but the whole time i'm like yo this is spoiling the fun bro yes. you know yes. and before you remember before like before now smartphones and whatnot hey dictionary so you have to put down the book yes you have to look for the... Do you get what I'm saying? And 100%. I'm that type of person that used to write the definitions like next to... Oh, yeah. That's how I started saying? reading. So, yeah. so I can understand, okay, how to use this word. Yeah. How to, you know? So I think with sci-fi, right? For me, it's that admin. Oh, yeah. Really, it's that admin because I really, really just want to read and enjoy. I don't want to feel like I'm laboring. Yeah. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? So 100%. for me, no shame. That's, I think, yeah. Is, is the the following that you do for the genres you like. So you said you like Zakes, uh, rather non-fiction. Mm -hmm. Do you follow any of this on, on different platforms on, on social media? Um, okay. So, um, I follow, um, Zakes. I do follow, uh, Fred Kumalo. I do follow. And I think that's about it. I Social, follow Oprah. Okay, I, I, oh, really? Oprah, yeah. Uh, I got, I, I got, I follow Oprah because, again, like you said, you need to broaden. Yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. So I'm curious as to what she reads. You and know writes, what, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so thank you for bringing I, Oprah I like up, the right? Excitement. Because you no, know, this book that I'm reading now, right? Yeah. What What happened to you, ne? Um, it's um Dr. Bruce Perry um and and Oprah, right? Yeah. So um so this guy is a what a psychologist, yeah. ne? Oprah isn't, right? But Oprah has written so many self-help books yes. and she's not a, never even attended like one session of therapy. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Are now here serious? we are consuming books that this lady has written. Oh. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not trivializing her experiences and her expertise just like yeah. in the school of life, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then again, it like, makes you question again yes. at the same time that yo, I'm consuming this level of yes. content Right, that's supposed to help me somehow. That is not even from a professional, right? Yeah. But that doesn't just regard that you know yes. whatever she's you know written in the books is yes. true or can help you. Yes. So don't like education doesn't um not not being educated doesn't exempt you from yes. being able to assist in you know certain aspects on certain fields. Straight Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah, like when I was reading this book, I found that very you know puzzling that hmm, actually there's so many books that this lady yeah. has featured in or you know like co-authored yeah but she's never attended not even one session as Yourself. a psychologist to sit down yeah. and say you know i've got two years experience going to a psychologist yeah. this is how no she can't say this is how it's helped me no she can't say this is how this psychologist has assisted me oh. it's that thing oh she heard a friend saying her friend gail her best friend gail, gail went yeah, to a she psychologist. Always so, about gail. Yeah, yeah so gail would tell her oh no you know whatever whatever do you get what i'm saying yeah. so yeah wow so, um, yeah. that's changing my comp and you know with, with, with um the books that um oprah has co-authored or what is written mm. they're all like psychoeducational books yes that's the the, the nice thing about it you yeah get regardless saying? you're still learning yeah, even if still she doesn't learning. have anything yeah. you know yeah you are still learning something she somehow really check or that out. have an opinion about something somehow. i've never read anything by oprah i just follow with oh, what she okay. recommends oh, yeah. do you watch those um those uh what oh what i don't know man those things like conversations, that those interviews you normally have with certain celebrities and whatever. No, I, I don't like celebrities. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hope to make you a celebrity after this. That's the whole idea for doing this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> sure, yeah, you make it the wrong person a celebrity. Hey? I'm so shy. <laughs> shy, well, yo, the what? way you came in here, guns blazing, you kicked in the door like yo. What? I told you I was gonna be here, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what you did. You're not shy at all. No, so oh, I think no, even no. the first time we met you were not oh, shy really? at all. Yeah. Do, oh, okay. do you think books also help with personalities? I mean, if you're reading different genres, because I'm, I'm you everywhere. Know what? Yeah. I think um, the more you equip yourself with uh, with content, yeah. it helps. You know, you have yes. better conversations. You Straight relate on. with people. Straight you know, like yeah. I think it becomes effortless, easier type of thing. Yeah. You know, not necessarily like that. You're not going to be shy or introverted or whatever, but it really helps. You know, oh. the more you put in, yes. the more you can also, you know, yes. radiate and yes. share with other people. If you don't, I get that sense from you. I can and, tell you read many ah. many genres. You know okay. when when to even behave. You know, there's even the movement. I can tell that this one, this is romance. <laughs> This is romance. Oh no, this is strict. <laughs> no, it it really does help. I I, sh- I should I should broaden a bit more. I should read another no, romantic like, book. Not necessarily romance, right? You can read like uh, a a fiction, like a book, like a yeah. fiction book. Yeah, that's from a, like a different author that you oh, haven't yeah. like been exposed to. Yeah, you know, I don't know if like you you mostly because there's some people that prefer reading like um. Like male dom- dominated type of literature. Oh, literature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you a, have a, that. A guy author. This guy yeah. must be white. Like, yes. uh-huh, you know? Yes. Or it must be a black guy from North Africa or whatever. You know, some people are very prescriptive in how they consume, you know, their literature. Mm. You get what I'm saying? You know what? Um, don't consume it. Uh, don't um limit yourself. You get what I'm saying? Don't box it. Don't limit yourself. Like, read as much as you can. Read what you want. You get what I'm saying? Don't oh. be that person that sounds like, no, I'm only going to read, no, I'm pro-black, black only. Uh, yeah. No, that, that, like, good. does that mean white people don't have stories to tell? They do. Yeah. They also, everyone has a story to tell. You could even tell. learn. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone has a story to tell. So, for me, it's that never limiting myself yeah. from what I read, you know? You remind me of this one character in the movie I watched. Uh, so, this boy found this woman he was in love with. And... Later on in the, the story, his dad tells him, well, the boys in the family have this power where we can go back in time. Mm-hmm. So he uses that power for love. And then we neglect the dad, but he goes back to the dad and says, so if you have this great power, what did you use it for? Mm-hmm. And he said, I did it so I can read every single book there is to read. They're like, mm-hmm. what do you mean every single book? From, from the dark ages all the way up until now, he's read every wow. single book so I, i'm just that, that's it you remind me of it because you said don't close yourself in you never mm. know even if you know this is a trash book it's not working i mean i read that book three times and it never went in just on some oh okay at least i read i, mm. I learned a word here or there yeah i learned how to be more patient you know because to sit through a book you need you need to yeah you practice need to be patient. yeah that's totally true. yeah so you that's remind true. me a lot of that 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 character mm. yeah you're making me blush it's, 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 uh, <laughs> if if you could would you <laughs> if you could would you would you give if given the opportunity would you would you do such a, a challenge or do such a thing i wouldn't mind mm-hmm. But like I said, some books for for me just, are just not they my just cup don't of click. tea. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? If there's one thing that's frustrating is sitting down and reading and, and not understanding. Yes. But you keep on going, 10th page, and you're like, but what are they talking what about here? What are they talking about, yeah. And you go on and you're like, ah, no, yeah. <laughs> hey, going nowhere very slowly. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So f- some things, in all honesty, I've tried before and haven't worked for me. Yeah. you get what I'm saying and yes. so I'm like no okay. shame yeah. I'm okay hey. if it doesn't work it doesn't it work it doesn't work yeah. someone can tell me about it yeah. I can watch a movie about it but I'm not gonna sit down and read like um, you know like erotica I can't like read erotica type of thing mm. do you get what I'm saying mm. if I'm reading a book mm. um, and there's hey too many sexual sins I, sh- I skip you know yes. and that puts me off then reading that book yes because every time I get to that I must do you get what I'm saying yes that's like, how I felt with, with, with the sh- Shades of Grey. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And there was this uh, book, um, uh, what, Half a Yellow Moon, Half a Yellow Sun or something, like Chimamanda DJ's book. Yes, uh, yeah, there's Dr. scenes Chimamanda. that are very, you know? Yes. I'm like, she didn't have to okay. do this though. I'm like, okay, do you know what I'm saying? Yes. But again, she's a brilliant author. She is. Right? I but, know what sex scene you're talking about where she caught the lady compared hey, the sex. Amza, you see? I'm not going to have sex after this. This, I, 
now I'm going to be compared. There's certain things I just don't prefer like yeah. reading. Do you yes, know what I'm saying? Very true. Yeah. So for some people actually love that kind of content. Mm. Lovely. But for me, I find it very awkward. Yes. It, it, even with it yourself. It's like uh, when we were younger and you see to the parents and there's like a kissing scene. <laughs> yeah. It's like... <laughs> And you know, the thing is now, no, no, the difference between, let's say, watching porn, right, and reading, yeah. right? Like, the, the, you can watch, right? Yeah. And not necessarily be in that, yes. in that zone. Yes. But when you read now, you're picturing that scene. Yes, you have to. And then he dropped off the strap of her bra oh, gosh. and touched her breast. What now you're picturing is the bra? that and you're like, oh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, hey, no, guys, no. It's, it's not necessary. <laughs> nope, nope. I don't, know. I don't want to be, yo, no, let's. Or oh, maybe <laughs> I read this when I was still single. <laughs> maybe that's the problem. I've got the book. Do you want it? No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the problem. Shane, I had problems. <laughs> maybe I had problems, yes. <laughs> maybe now if I were to read it, yeah. It's going to go in. Mm, mm, some mm. so baby, you know this. Mm, 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 <laughs> I didn't get this the last time. <laughs> I'm like, you know that character in the book? Yeah. I, you must. Mm. Do you share the, um, the books you read with your husband? Or man, um, or no, no, no. We wife. like my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must. Yeah, yeah. I must be sure. You I can't. I can't assume. Your, yes, yeah. yeah. You can't assume. I uh, know. Um, hey, my me and my husband don't um read the same books. To okay. be honest. My husband loves biographies. Oh yeah. Tapa books, political books. Yeah. I, um, yo, no shame. I'm not a polit- I'm not into politics at all. He loves Me politics. Either. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. He loves biographies, and I don't. So. No, we don't share books. The the politics thing, I would prefer in the academic stance because they they try to you know it's it's a introduction, mm-hmm. it's method, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. conclusion, yeah. and then we're done. You know, and at least it's um I can read articles like a newspaper. You don't mm-hmm. have to memorize it. I you, get you. You don't have to use this information. It's just information. But mm-hmm. if you're going to write, I read Ascari, mm-hmm. and that was terrible to read because it was. It forced you to be political, and I'm not. You I'm see? when I'm not living yeah. in the seventies or, or sixties. <laughs> no disrespect to anyone that yeah, was there, but like yeah. I don't, I don't feel this. You yeah, know? no, I get you. Yeah, so uh, you, you're right. I, I when when I was still doing the relationship thing, mm-hmm. um, we never read the same genres. Mm-hmm. But what I gained from it was, if you're good at telling a story, mm-hmm. get me into the book by explaining it to me yes, do you ever have that yes, i won't yes, read the yes, book yes. but i like how you explain yeah, it yeah. yes yes that's yeah for me it's like politics as well sometimes i don't understand half of the things that are happening yeah. my husband will explain it so beautifully oh okay. you know what i'm saying and i'll get it and when i go wherever and they're having a conversation or it's a political thing i'll be there <laughs> talking <laughs> like i know <laughs> and i'm just recited yeah. what my husband told me yeah. that's the thing you know um, so yeah, going back to do we share books? We the, the political ones, biographies, no. Mm-hmm. But um, um, like marriage type of books, yeah. yes. Okay. Oh, those exciting yeah. to read. Yeah, you I've know, never come you know what? Them. A relation, yeah. relationships in general are a lot of work, right? Too much. Ne? Yeah. They're a lot of work. Now a marriage is something else. Right? Completely different. Now, yeah, this is to heaven to hold, right? <sighs> you must now make this thing work. Yeah. You must constantly be working. Yeah. You know, you must be reading the five love languages. So this this <sighs> this partner of yours understands that yo, when you like words of affirmation, yeah. they must now be praising you and telling you you look beautiful. Yeah, and yeah. you smell good. Does he Ooh, tell you that? Well done. Ooh. Oh yeah, no shame. He does. Nice. Well done. He does. So he's oh. keeping you for sure. He's doing the hey, right things. He's reading the book. Yeah. He must, you know. And I'm I'm doing the same, you okay. know. So I mean, um, Certain books for certain stages in your life, you know. Mm. I remember when I was single, I used to um, um, read books for single people, mm. for single women. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. How to preserve yourself yeah. as a young lady. How to... Ha, ha, ha. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I used to read books like that because yeah. that was that was the stage. Oh, that okay. stage yeah, then. Yeah. Do you get what Straight I'm saying? Off. Now... I'm what I'm married. Mm. I'm a mother now. Mm. I'm reading the power and purpose of a praying woman, yes. of a praying mother, of yeah. a praying wife, of praying a praying family. couple. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So those kind of things, you know? That's amazing. So yeah. The the advantage of having all those different genres that you read, does it come to the does it come to play when now you and your husband are sharing the books? Come again? So you you read different genres. Yeah, yeah. So you can tell 
what I can share with this guy yes, instead yes, of yes, just yes. imposing what yes, to share. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. And sometimes there are things that I don't necessarily share. Because yes. it's my consumption yes. that's where it ends. Okay. And now the nice thing about like now is that the technology has helped. Hey, Big time. Our reading is not necessarily picking up a book and mm. reading and consuming. Not it. anymore, yeah. It's a thread. Yes. It's a blog post. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? So actually, there's so many ways of reading nowadays yeah, that yeah, we're not yeah. just confined to actually picking up a, a book. book. Yeah. You know, someone tweeting their story, you know, that thread. Yeah. Yo, this is what happened. Blah, blah. That's, you know, that's beautiful. That's and really I don't know how many tweets I've read where I thought this was like a real story only to find that, oh, whatever, this was just a whatever, whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? This yeah. person now putting a disclaimer at the end that, oh, no, this is part of my novel. And you're like, oh, it was good. Cool. I thought this was real. You know, yeah. this was for real. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. So that's, I think, the beauty of now technology. Yes. How now we just like, and upcoming authors, they don't need to now wait for publishing houses to yes. sign them. Yes. They can post their things. Remember there was a um, Diary of a Zulu Girl. Yes. I mean, I it wasn't it. a book that came out. It's exclusive I, yeah, really, books. Really, really and we like all it. went to go buy it. No, something that like came out was distributed informally. Yeah. And people consumed it. People yes. loved it. We couldn't wait for the next one. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? 100%. So that's the nice thing about how technology works now and yes. being able to spread con lit literature, you yes. know? So, yeah. You uh, you said you did linguistics. Yes. Have you ever thought about writing yourself? Oh, no. No. Why? I don't know. I think, yo, I think being in a, a, a academia for like... Yo, so long. You just get tired hey, of writing. Nah. Hey, you get tired, hey? It's a lot, hey? I remember when I completed my master's, man, I was at a point where I couldn't read anything. Serious? I didn't want to read anything. I felt like I had read enough yeah. for my whole lifetime. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because you just read and read and read. Yes. And not necessarily, yes, um, whatever you're reading, obviously, is about, let's say, your, your research topic or whatever, you know, yeah. for your dissertation or whatever. It's something that you chose, that you're passionate about, right? Yes. But there's just so much of one thing that you can consume as well. Actually, no matter yeah. how passionate you are about it. Straight at on. some point, you're just like, yo, this is so tiring. Can you stop already? You know? Yeah. And when I was done, I actually felt like, yo, I don't want to read anything. I don't, like, I don't want to read anything. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. You're okay now. You know, I'm, I'm okay. Top and your PhD, it, you know? you're going to do that, I'm sure. Oh, no. Like, yeah. You see me doing my PhD, <laughs> just know I've got problems at home. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's even worse no, than doing a master's, no, right? No, no, yeah. No, it's it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. No, it's a lot. No, ooh, it's a lot. Like, academia is a, like, it's a lot. Would that count in a, as a genre? Yeah, of, that's academic. Of, like, Okay, yeah. academic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it when it's got nothing to do with what I'm studying. It's that, that's like um, your academic um, non-fiction. Because okay. whatever you're doing, let's say you're conducting a study that's yeah. based on facts, right? Yes. So yeah, that's what's now going to be published at the end of your dissertation. Or whatever. Can we find your research online? Yeah, I'm not yeah, curious. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, yeah. Did you, um, just hit us up with that for sure. Uh, so my master's title for my thesis dissertation. Um, dissertation. Dissertation well, master's? Yeah. And thesis Dissertation PhD. thesis, uh, different different institutions use different yeah. um, terminologies for okay. it. Some say a research paper, dissertation, thesis. It's 100 same. pages and you yeah, say so, paper. Yeah, no. like, yeah <laughs> you know, hey, Shwena, yeah. that's why I was, some people are uh, reduced to an, uh, what? Et al. You know, when yes. they're referencing. Yes. So you see? So, yeah. Um, so the title for my research paper, whatever, you know, it's uh, what inspires South African parents who are non-native English speakers to teach their children English instead of their mother tongue. I must get you on two more shows now. So you see, yeah. This is amazing. Delight, do the right thing, please. <laughs> but, no, what, does that, <laughs> that's how I'm curious. I actually should check that out. <laughs> mm. but, uh, so you can check it online. Yeah, you'll find me there. I will. Uh -huh. Is there a picture mm -hmm. as well? A picture of what? Of you on the research. No, 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 oh, no. Okay. You know, academic, it's just the book Very, with, the, with your name there. Uh, that's it. There's no, there's no, no, there's no picture of you standing. Ah, yeah. no, there's no waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is academic. Is this? <laughs> as plain and clinical as it comes, as yes. it is, you know, it's not a uh, uh, fiction or you know. Um, I don't need to entice whatever. you. No, research. yeah, yeah. You, you, you actually read. You'll be reading that specific dissertation or whatever yeah. for a certain purpose. Do you get what I'm saying? 100%. If you also want to reference it on your paper or whatever. Yeah. So no one ever reads a dissertation for leisure. <laughs> I, I, I've never come across someone that was on some, well, you know, I read someone's PhD and they were taught, just in J. Yeah, I, I did I've that never. once. 
Oh, lovely. I did this once. Yeah, I, I read. Um... What was wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell us. I went through something. <laughs> yeah, so, no. So, yeah, I was going through something, mm. but not not detrimental. Just no, but it was something nonetheless. Uh, yeah, kind of. Mm. I, was, I was curious about the one of the guys that went, one of the first guys that went to the moon, mm. Buzz Aldrin. Okay. He had a PhD. Okay. Like, oh snap! I didn't know, mm. and I read it, and read it. Like, yeah, I've got issues. I need to stop this. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not okay. that curious. But now, now that I know the name of your research, oh, shame, I'm shame. A, I, I, was, I thought it was something traumatic or something. That's I'm like, mm. no, it's mm. not traumatic. Uh, reading mm. about uh, line no, no, of no, sight no, no, flight like, is not. Okay, uh, no, I don't no. need. No, when you said I went through something, yes, oh, that's why I was like, no, no, tell us. <laughs> Yeah, I am sensationalizing it. I'm like, oh. yeah, we went to school there. Eh? I wish we you could see your juice. eyes, the way your eyes <laughs> dropped just now. Like, Tell us. <laughs> Tell us. So this, sorry, to go back to this book that yeah. I'm currently reading, right? Yeah. It talks about the um, the traumas that we've undergone, like, throughout our childhood to till now, till the, you know, like, whatever age you're at, you know, yeah. so the big traumas, the small traumas and whatever. Traumas have sizes. Yeah, well, now they have sizes. <laughs> Yeah, they come in big small packages oh, wow you see so okay. yeah so yeah no that's why i was so interested i'm like you see the books that i'm reading now they're you know it's coming they, to the fort you see? <laughs> yeah. yeah nice <laughs> yeah okay. uh, well thank you for that thank you for that session we had a, a very long session before the recording because our producer had to set up and stuff so but it was really lovely having you here we get to this part where now a uh, delight gets to ask a question or make a statement or comment so uh Hit us, please, Delight. Hello, hello, Mona. Nice to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Thank you guys mentioned, um, well, you specifically mentioned stages and how, you know, you'd read a book because certain books because you're single and, and so on and so forth. And this one with the trauma, yeah, this Mr. Reed, yeah, <laughs> he's going through a lot. So he reads, you know, he reads theses and whatever. <laughs> so... Yeah, in regards to, I'm going to go back to the thing we mentioned about the Harry Potters and the childish <laughs> books. <laughs> Wouldn't you say that maybe, okay, there is a stage for when you're a kid, but yes. would you, being a mother now, would you consider um, sacrificing your disinterest in childish books <laughs> in order to maybe relate to your child at some point, like similar to how a parent would maybe get onto the jumping castle just to, <laughs> hey, my child, I'm your friend, you know? And would you make that sacrifice on some, you know what, maybe through this book I will understand my child more or so on and so forth. So, yeah, maybe maybe that's the link I was seeing with where, where people read stuff that literally doesn't relate to them, but they want to relate to others. Um, but, yeah, that's basically my question. And, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Delight, for the question. Yo. That's a beautiful one. Um, I think with parenthood comes a whole lot of sacrifices. Straight. And I think uh, being the linguist, being a linguist, I honestly wouldn't want my child to consume something I haven't read before. So I'm definitely going to be rereading those Harry Potters. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be rereading the Humpty Dumpties and whatever, you know, I'm going to read everything. Whatever that my child is going to be consuming, I'm going to make sure that it's okay for them to consume um i've seen a few tweets um of books that are child you know like apparently they're age appropriate for kids but they've got so many sexual you know sexual um what do you call this content uh, yeah co not content like in your windows or whatever oh, i don't know how bad. to put it do you oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. when you actually when you read it as a an adult you're like uh, -uh but no here yeah. <laughs> no this is not supposed to be for kids or this is not how you'd you know yeah. want to convey a certain message to kids you know i don't know maybe um Maybe maybe I'm perverted. I don't know, but I mean, I I was not the only person that had a problem in that, like, and yeah. on these books, you know, because it yeah. was a thread on Twitter. So I, as a parent, would want to know what my kid is consuming. Therefore, whatever book that I'm gonna read or I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna read at first before, you know, uh, my my child reads it. So th those childish books, <laughs> hey, I'll be back at it. Hey, Harry Potter, I'll be back. Come <laughs> what? Come numbers? What what? That broom? I'll know it again. So yeah, Legad Legadi of Yosa. Yeah. Yeah, I, I felt the different, even those genres I don't like when you want to relate to people. So where I, I get my tattoos, mm -hmm. um, there's this one guy, he's completely different from me. I mean, apart from the obvious visual difference, is he's more into that. So because I read just maybe one Harry Potter book, I'm able to take that conversation and mm -hmm. expand it because I got the one thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not bad. 
Um, sorry, just to backtrack, right? Yo, please don't, don't, don't get me wrong, right? When I say that that's a, a bit childish or whatever, I didn't mean it in, 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 in a... <laughs> yes, you did. You Popeyes. You bloody Popeye lovers. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> Weak niggas read Harry Potter. I didn't mean it. it didn't, maybe it came across as, as <laughs> me mental. making a mockery of people like, you know, that read Harry Potter. No, that yeah, was not niggas. my intention, right? Yeah, niggas. It was don't just read uh, that thing of reading age-appropriate books. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, there is nothing wrong with kids reading Harry Potter. Yeah. That's age appropriate. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> but imagine now my dad reading Harry Potter. Oh, but Bruh. Then, like, Bruh. and then, we, we you know, but again, people use like reading as an escape, yes, right? Yes. But you would expect at a certain, like, again, when we talk about like milestones, mm. right? In a developmental stage of a child. You'd expect them to be reading, let's say, um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid at a certain age. Yeah. Come high school, it's Harry Potter. Yeah. Come varsity, yeah. you know, it will still be more or less like Macbeth, whatever. Yeah. Then it will be something else. Do you get what I'm saying? Street. A street can called yeah. Desire. What? Do you get what I'm saying? But you don't expect now a varsity student to be reading Harry Potter at that varsity level. Do you get what I'm saying? That, that's why I'm like going back to it and saying it's a matter of being like age appropriate with the literature that you also consume, yeah. right? When you have a child that's something different, completely. obviously mm. you have to now go through those stages all over again mm. for the sake of your child. Yeah. I, I feel like reading for the child, you have, it has to come with, with the play as well. Yes. You don't just read Rick and Jeff got into the car and went, no, you have to, Rick got into the car. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So that, that, it's what helps the fact that it's okay to do it with the child mm. or okay to do it for different stages. That's so true, but we're not the same. Eh? Some people yeah. are very serious. Yeah. They'll read it that, yeah, Rika, ha, 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 and that's it. And it shouldn't be Some like parents that. aren't playful, yes. you know. So, yes, yeah. Quite true. But at the end of the day, it's still something the kid is consuming, that yes. literature. Yes, You know, that's it's important. building that vocab, you know, mm. it's painting that story. This child is starting to now picture certain things, yeah. create images in their head and whatever, you know. Yeah. So there's different ways of shaping and molding a child's imagination. Straight on. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. The book you said is called what? The one from Oprah, the Oprah book that you... What happened you, to you? What happened to you? Yeah. Um, how much would you rate what you've read so far out of five? You know what? Right. What, what my biggest thing was that... Don't rate the book. No, no, no. <laughs> Oprah... Is what the co-author, right? Yeah. Is partnered now with this um Dr. Perry guy. Ish. She hasn't attended not even one session. I really find that very problematic. Isn't she it? could have just for this book. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. If you okay, now if you're gonna come to me, right, tell me that you're selling, let's say, herbal life and you're fat. Aha, <laughs> bro, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying your story. <laughs> do you like, do you like? <laughs> <laughs> I am not about buying your story. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, right? I'm yeah. not saying what Oprah now is telling us because it's some there's like snippets of what ha what has happened in her life and yeah. whatever, right? That's lovely. That's that's beautiful, right? Very relatable, and you get where her her big traumas are coming from and whatever. That's that's beautiful. That's good, right? Yeah. But my thing is with everything that's happened to you, Oprah. One session, Ingana. One session, bro. Just one session. No, bro. Like money oh, blocking wow. the ears. Like. I really find that problematic. Yeah. I don't want to lie, you okay. know? Like, you can't... No, bruh. This, and remember, like, um, psycho-educational books must come from a point of reference. Yes. Right? Actual experience as you, well. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, um, she's the co-author of this mm. book. This Dr. Perry guy is coming with that, you know, professional uh, medical references terms and whatever. Lovely, you know? But I really think uh, on Oprah's front, she can do better in the sense of getting that psychological what do I do maybe short course Sonyana, something because really she's in like in the thick of co-authoring you know and no. especially these psychoeducational books, books yeah. yeah so how much <laughs> I would give it so far I would give it um six and a half seven so far out of 10? Yeah, out of 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, look, I'll take that. I usually read books out of five. That way, it, it, it helps you to really, now you must focus on okay. the nitty gritty of is the writing style good? Was it worth it? Because no, the writing style is good. So yeah. far, the writing style is good. Yeah. yeah. Six and a half, seven yeah. out of 10. That's out of actually five, a very good, good writing. I'll give it a three. 
Really? Yeah. That means it's a good book. Though. Yeah. It, so far, it is. I don't want to lie. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. There's just there's those little things, you know. Yeah. Um, like for 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 example, right? Um, there's a term. Okay, so in psychological terms, right? Um, there's a terminology for like what? Like you'd say attachment, right? Mm. In their book, I forgot the term that they use, but they don't call it attachment. Oh. Right. It's as if they've now distanced, you know, themselves oh, from wow. using the normal typical psychological term that yes. they deem as attachment. Yes. They're not calling it attachment. I forgot now what they call it. Okay. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. for me it's like, hey, call it spade a spade. What are we doing? Trying to dilute psychological terms. Oh, it is okay. what it is. Let's and not plus, let's not create unnecessary do you get what I'm saying? hundred percent. Like it's like I, I like I really hate it. Like um when it's like when you go to a restaurant and they say um a cappuccino froth broccoli foam like cappuccino is cappuccino there's caffeine in there well, why, why is cappuccino and broccoli Bruh. what is this yeah do you get what i'm saying I get what you let's mean. use the right terminology for the right you things mean. you know Straight let's talk. not confuse people by trying to you know let's let's get to things properly you know i mean being a linguist you it, that that does stick out the fact that mm-hmm. like it needs to be readable yes and the fact that it's not a book for academics it's a book for reading yes. so you guys could have done better with those terms pain is pain don't don't call it inflammation of yeah. the what what like, yeah. I, i don't i yes. don't relate to that yeah. that yeah. makes sense it's really not all that bad right uh-huh. right but some people don't they know that let's say um i forgot this word what it was hey For but anyway yeah. you know um, some people don't know that what that word that they're referring to is mm. attachment okay do you get what i'm saying I had they said attachment mean. even would understand that it's attachment yeah. now people will now go around saying oh man it's irritating that i can't remember the word but <laughs> let's say remember? flower yeah. now they're gonna be on some you know oh. this person only weird flower tendencies ha 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 do you get what i'm saying yeah. whereas i could have said attachment so we identify yes. certain things yes. in certain relationships and whatever we can say it's but this guy's attachment style is a bit flawed in this blah, 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 blah. do you get what i'm saying yeah. and not put these you know and like but again oprah is that um she's i don't know like you know this um aha the, the aha moment oh yes yeah oh, she's got yeah. those she likes coining her own you know phrases yeah, so and whatever amazing. I love but you Oprah. get what it is yes, you get what i'm saying yes, yes. you really in all honesty get what it is okay. and i'm assuming it's that type of thing they've coined something new yes. for this specific book okay. so when now you say let's say flower for instance we all know what you're talking about and Watch you've me read use flower you've, now. you've read what happened to you you know yeah. that type of thing it's unfortunate i can't remember that now word that they I'm going to start using yeah. it though <laughs> like no she's got some flower issues like, <laughs> That's why me and her couldn't work out. <laughs> I, I, I won't do that. I'll, I'll definitely check out the book. I don't have a problem with Oprah. She's she's nice. She's yeah, no, I love her. Yeah, very intelligent as well. Yes. I'll definitely uh, check out the book. What happened to you? Man? Mm-hmm. It's is it new? Um, When was it written? I think it was released sometime this year, if I'm not mistaken. I discovered it like I think a month ago. So I'm, I honestly don't want to lie. I'm not sure when it was published. the first time but it is relatively new okay. for my knowledge yeah and because the topic was favorite genres or genres what would you like please give me at least you like the south african writers outside of uh zakes um the other books that you think are good to read of south african writers off the top of your head just at least one or two one or two books yeah. that you should like yeah, should read yeah definitely Hmm. I, I like making my list outside of famous people making a list or something online. So I like making my list like this. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, a South African author that you can read. Uh, After Tears, Nick Mflongo. Yes. Read that book. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, really read that book. It's like very that. lighthearted. Okay. It's very light. It's a lighthearted book. Yeah. It's a page turner. Yes. It's something that you can consume in a day or two. Okay. It depends on... How fast you read? Yeah, yeah, Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? That that that's one of those lighthearted books. You don't have to think too much. You don't have to. Do you get what I'm saying? A very lighthearted book that you really gonna enjoy. Um, another South African book that you can read. Um, da, 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 let me see. Hmm. Um, it's um spilled milk. Spilled milk. Yeah, spilled milk. I think Why? it's Copano. I forgot her surname. Okay. Yeah. It's Copano something, but the name Sp- of the book okay. is Spilled Milk. Okay. Yeah. 
definitely true. Um, yeah, that's those two, yeah, two from the, the top of my head that I can think of now. Okay. Yeah. I'll definitely get into that. I've read three, four, no, actually four, five. South African books. South, Afri- uh, South African authors. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I mean, Zexim dies, a lecturer. Oh, okay. oh so you had, you had, to, you can help yourself. Yeah. And the others? And the others were okay. I read Hunger Eats by, oh gosh, I forgot Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And When a Man Cries. Okay, okay. I read uh, Ascari. I've read actually more than I thought I did. I, I, we can check check what I've got you on the shelf. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's, we'll no, have it's a look. not there. Yeah, yeah. So definitely we'll do that. Um, thank you for coming. Thank really you so do much for having me. Thank you for eating our food. I hope that there's, there's still an acquaintanceship after this, you know, because mm-hmm. uh, it's nice to, to meet readers. Mm-hmm. It's not many and we're always told, ah, you're too bourgeois because you read. Mm. It's not, sometimes nice to share. Go back and forth. And honestly, back and forth, you know. We don't have to read the same book. Mm, that's true. That's true. Uh, where, where can we find you on the socials? Oh, I'm only on Twitter. Only on Twitter? Yeah, only on Twitter. Can, not on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, so those are a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. No, not really. I'm just... <laughs> Uh, no shame. Twitter is no. the one. Yeah, for me, Twitter is the one. Yeah. Twitter is the one. Not not that I'm active, really. I'm okay. a serial retweeter and liker. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah me it, too. It, for me, yeah. I'm like that um, on LinkedIn. <laughs> is it? <laughs> you know, apparently LinkedIn is the new Instagram. Yes. So a lot it's is happening. It's terrible here in, in this in, country, so we have to. Mm, we have to be honest again. Yeah. Oh, on, 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 on LinkedIn. So mm. we can't find you there? You don't want to share that? You Wait. can share your number oh, no, if you Twitter want. Twitter is okay. at Monadilo. At Double M O N A underscore D I L O. That's it. Definitely gonna follow. Thank you very much. No WhatsApp number. No, no, <laughs> don't do such a thing. I'm gonna give you the UTV. <laughs> <laughs> and we all remember it. <laughs> the UTV. <laughs> My brother did that once. He gave he gave some girl the UTV number <laughs> wow. unknowingly because you know they did it in yes. a song type of way. Like call me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no thank you thank you very much we appreciate it uh, delight is usually the gift guy so you will get your gift thank you for for putting your your your, your time aside to be and and discuss with us really appreciate it thank you so much uh no closing words to the fans out there <laughs> <laughs> no um my parting words is that read that's what read, it is read read and read, read some read more read do not some confine more. yourself to any genres you know Authors read across board, across across the color bar. Yeah. Immerse yourself in literature and the content. It builds you as a person, you know? Sure. And it doesn't just build you. It builds the people that you associate yourself around with as well. So, yeah, read. Amazing. Read, peoples. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> One glance at a book and you hear the voice of another person. Perhaps someone dead for a thousand years. To read is to voyage through time.